I got a great question that came through uh, my email newsletter. Uh, I send out newsletters three, four times a week. And if you're not on my list, go join my list. All right, just go to buildmysportsbiz.com. Go to the bottom of my page. Um, I sent out a newsletter about running camps and clinics and this coach responded. He said, hey Ben, I'm going to be running my first ever uh, clinic. What are some things that I should avoid? And we're gonna get into that here in a second. Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go. It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right, so I'm going to recap this guy's question. He said, hey, Ben, I'm going to be running my first baseball camp, uh, this or baseball clinic. And I haven't run one in the past. I'm a little nervous. Uh, what are some things that I should avoid, right? And in this video, I'm going to try to break this down so it's really simple, all right? And really, there's two types of coaches out there. There are coaches that wing it, and they'll, they'll skate by. Um, and then there's coaches who are on it. They are... Uh, really organized. They have everything in place. They protect themselves. They are really good at marketing. Um, they don't wait up for the last second to promote things. Um, they know what they're doing at all points during the day. The person who wings it just kind of floats around like a little butterfly in the wind and can be going this way and then they're going this way. Like there's no clear path, no clear direction that they're taking, right? So what you have to do first is you have to decide who you're gonna be, right? In, 20, in 2009, 2010, I was that little butterfly. I was floating around, uh, didn't know where I was going, had zero direction, and all I knew is I loved coaching, that's it. And there's a lot of passionate, hungry coaches that are just like that, but they don't have any direction. Now we have to change into the second type of person, which means like, you need to take a lot more ownership you need to take more self-responsibility. You need to have a plan, all right? You need to know what the heck you're doing, all right? So I'm assuming if, if anyone's watching this video, you're hopefully trying to be like the second type of person or you are already that person. Now, if that's the case, my advice here works. If that's not the case, you're the first person, doesn't work here, all right? That's just the facts. So assuming you're organized, you are on it, you are disciplined with your time, Here's the things you need to avoid, right? When you run your first clinic, you need to avoid uh, miscommunication on your checkout page. And here's a good example. I spoke with a coach the other day. He ran his first ever clinic. He had uh, 20 kids there, which was a huge success for him. Uh, he generated $1,000, right? For someone doing their first ever clinic, that's a huge success, all right? 1,000 extra dollars in his business, uh, 20 kids at $50 per kid. Now, he had a miscommunication problem though, right? Because 18 of the kids that showed there, they showed up there, they were within the age group that he wanted to train and it was all high school kids, right? Then there were two kids there that showed up. They were under the age of five and they were girls, all right? Most, like everybody else was high school boys and there was these like two five-year-old girls there right now i want you to think about how weird that had to feel not just for the the five-year-old girls that were there but for the 18 uh boys that were in high school they're probably like dude what the heck are we doing here and then think about how weird it was for the parents who are watching and observing what is going on and it, here's why it's because there's a miscommunication problem on the enrollment page for the parents all right he should have said it's four kids that are this age to this age only. He didn't do that, so unfortunately, there were kids that were there. Um, and this was a great lesson for him to learn though, because now, guess what, he's not gonna run into that problem ever again, all right? And that problem could have been a thousand times worse in a year from now um, if he just kind of skated through and you know didn't run into that problem now, that problem could have been way worse if he was running a bigger summer camp and he wasn't clear, uh, that, that could have been terrible, all right? So being clear and 
don't miscommunicate, all right? That's number one. Number two is you need to be clear on what your refund policy is, right? This is a massive mistake that coaches make. Most coaches, when they run clinics, there is no refund policy. So guess what? If a client misses the clinic or they, uh, or they're sick, or maybe they're, they show up 45 minutes late. Like there's, there's zero communication. There's zero terms in place that protect the coach. So that means like the parent and that in this situation, the parent can do whatever they want. They can say, well, we need our money back or well, when can we do our rescheduled clinic? Which, you know, doing a rescheduled clinic for one person is not going to work. <laughs> right. Uh, but I see a lot of coaches, they fall into that trap of getting bullied by their clients, right? So that's also something you have to avoid is the miscommunication on your terms and you need to have terms set up, right? The other thing that I can think about, uh, this is a huge problem that, that I know a lot of coaches have is they just don't, for some reason, they, they don't streamline their payments online, right? They don't streamline any of their payments online, which means that they are going to the clinic and they're waiting to get paid. And they're relying on people to show up to get paid. Now I'm gonna give you a very simple example here, all right? Because I get texts all the time from coaches who do this type of thing where they'll be like, hey Ben, I'm having my first clinic. Um, I'm trying to get 20 kids there. And I'm like, great, awesome, man. Go get Sam Cart. It's like free for 14 days. Choose their most affordable option. Uh, use that for your clinic because like that's gonna save your butt. And then, you know, a, a month later, they're like, hey, Ben, I had my clinic and, you know, I only had like three kids show up. And I'm like, well, how many people said they're interested? And they're like, well, there was like around 25 people. So I look at all the amount of money that is lost on clinics if you rely on getting paid in person. And it's 2021. Like, we need to stop doing things like we're in the 1930s, right? We're not getting paid cash and checks anymore. Like, that, that's... That's not what we're doing. Uh, this business needs to evolve uh, for you. And in order to evolve, you have to change. And to change, your your business is going to end up doing a lot better. Um, and this is why I said there's two types of coaches. Coach one always gets paid cash and check. Coach two streamlines his, his crap online. And everything is so freaking detailed, right? Big difference there, all right? Coach, coach two is going to make way more money. Coach one is going to struggle and, and skate by, all right? And, and always be wishing and wanting, oh, I wish I could have more, more kids at my clinic. Well, coach two is probably talking to the same amount of people that coach one is, but he's going to generate way more money in his business for his clinics because he is on it, right? And that is a big, big mistake coaches make is they don't have a process online. They're skating by they're they're getting the session they're trying to collect money like they're, they're selling crack <laughs> right uh you're not a crack dealer you are a trainer and you should be running your training business like a business right not selling crack here <laughs> all right so hopefully uh if you're watching this you can avoid these mistakes and if you are a coach that's serious about growing your clinics go in the link in the description i have a uh, complete program there it's called big money camps and the title of that is exactly what it means it's like you go through the program the goal is to help you generate more money in the camps and clinics that you run and help you streamline things like the pro that we're talking about all right so that is it for today's uh, video if you have any questions for me all right shoot me a text right here i keep my number is available for any coach at any time throughout the week you can message me there do not call me. I never pick my phone up. All right. I only uh, talk to people when it is scheduled. All right. So message me there. I'm an open book. I am here to help you um, grow your business, period. That's my only role here. That's why I've shot over at this point, probably over 500 videos on YouTube. All right. That's it. And uh, hopefully this helps you out and I'll see you soon.